Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to GWT, a special Christmas edition for you today. You know, I've got some of my own presents here, but we're gonna do something special today as well. I want you to stick around until later. We have a big announcement coming after the new year, but we're gonna do a giveaway today that's tied into that. More details to come. You know, and so before we get started, I do want to read a comment from one of you guys, and, and I wanna say thank you to everybody that follows along and, and leaves comments and interacts and makes it a lot of fun to make these videos. And you know, it's a good time of year to keep things in perspective and, and uh, sometimes we need to be brought together a little bit and not focus so much on proprietary problems like that recent video there with the John Deere Quick Attach versus the Skid Steer Quick Attach. But I want to call out Black Hawk International Security. You know, we had a little back and forth and, and he's always coming up with just, just funny little quips and off the wall statements and I, and I think he's pretty hilarious. But, uh, you know, he responded to a comment recently in a video and, and pretty much just put life in perspective, you know? But when he responded to my comment, it kind of caught me off guard a little bit, right? And, you know, so many of us are blessed and we don't have real day-to-day -day problems, right? And a lot of guys are really good at hiding that too. And, and Blackhawk, you know, you can read his comment for, for yourself, but he has some real problems that he's dealing with, you know? And for him to still just find humor and find the good things in life. You know, it's, it gives you some perspective. You know, my wife often says that I need to start taking things more seriously because so many times I'm like, eh, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal, you know? And, and to an extent, she's right. I probably should take some things a little bit more seriously. But the point being that if Blackhawk can go through these trials and tribulations and still just, you would never know anything's wrong, right? It just gives you something to, to learn from and, and try to do better and, and keep a different perspective in life. So Merry Christmas to you, Blackhawk. Merry Christmas to everybody that's watching. I do appreciate the community that we have and happy 2022. So we've got another collection of items here and I'm gonna go through this with you. We'll do the unboxing and see what the new products are that are coming along. The first thing I gotta do is give a shout out to another manufacturer. I actually don't have any kind of a business relationship with at all but he has a lot of great quality solutions, so I wanna give him some love. And so it's these things right here. <laughs> a pretty cheap little accessory, but I tell you, if you have a quick hitch, you wanna look into these because they can be a real game changer. All right, so what we have are just some replacement pins. And while quick hitches are amazing, and they have all these adjustments in the top hook for a reason because the different manufacturers are not always gonna have the same exact height from the bottom to the top pin, and so you have that adjustment. I think it's 14 and a half to 17 and a half inches based on how you have this hook set up. But it's a pain to take these bolts off and reposition it. And when you're in the field, hooking up from one attachment to another, back and forth, it's not a great process. And so you can pretty much just plan on taking these pins out and replacing it. You can see how the hook just comes right off and just pop one of these in place instead. Well, two of them, I guess I should say. All right. so. This is a really nice system, but I don't particularly love the pins that it came with, whatever these retainer pins are. I'm not sure what they're called. I wanted to use a linch pin. That's a really easy style of pin. You just pop it through and plug this down. And I think it worked good, but I don't have those. I do have some hair pins right now. I don't have the right size linch pins. So I'm gonna put these in there and I think that'll be a little bit easier. Just like that. Same thing here. Yeah, that's better. We'll set these down and see. So you can see what I'm talking about, moving these things around. You just pull this back out, these pins there, and that one there. And then you can quickly take this out and I don't know, say you wanna move it down to the middle somewhere, just like that. Pop these back in and away you go. No tools required, which is always nice. There we go. So anyway, these are just, I think they're called hook pins, but if you go to bolt on hooks, and I'll put a link down below, you'll see it on the screen here too. Um, they're like 12 bucks a set. I don't know if that includes shipping or not, but really cheap to do. And, and it does make it a lot more convenient instead of those bolts that come standard with all the quick hitches. I think they have a version for um, the eye match itself and then kind of everything else, a catch all for all the other quick hitches. There must be something just a little bit different about the geometry or maybe the length, I'm not sure. Only thing I would do is probably just get a couple of different pins, but that should be no big deal. Pretty much every tractor owner has a handful of pins of different kinds laying around. So again, check them out. There's no discount code. I don't have any kind of a business relationship. Just kind of want to do something nice for somebody else. He's got a lot of good products and this happens to be one of them. All right, so you know open up the presents here just like the kids Which one do I want to go with next? I'm tempted to go with the biggest one But I'm gonna go with this one it looks a little bit different. Let's see what's inside So this here is from a new 
a brand new, I'm announcing it now, GWT Discount Club member, all right? And so they have something pretty cool that, you know, I like things that are multi-purpose, that solve a problem and, uh, and do a little more than that as well. And so what you have is called a hose end chamber, all right, or HEC for short. You're gonna have a few different sizes here. Let me break all these out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Big one here. Well, we'll crack open the big one, take a look at that, just because it's probably easier for you guys to see. And so, Dale came up with this whole system, and what this is is for uh, you guys that have hydraulic attachments that are maybe sitting around for a period of time. This is going to make it so that that pressure doesn't build up. So if you have a, a problem connecting your attachment to your loader, to your tractor, to your skid steer, uh, whatever piece of equipment it is. And so they're gonna come just like this. You're gonna get your mating quick coupler end and you're gonna do this with typically the female end that you're gonna put on here. It's gonna plug into your, say your grapple hoses, for example, that's a really popular one. Um, I'm gonna use this one for my bat wing mower. Um, say you have a back hose, say you have your loaders off for the winter. Anything that has hydraulics on it and has a connection on there, you can plug this in and it's gonna help relieve that pressure from building up. And so when you wanna go ahead and reconnect it to your tractor later on, you're not gonna have that issue with trying to force it on there. It won't mate, it won't seat properly. You have to try to relieve that pressure by undoing the fitting or you know, putting all your safety stuff on and pressing in the end of the fitting as well to release some, some fluid out of there. And so again, this is, we just got these in. You gotta check out his website. I, I believe you're just gonna turn this screw a little bit and that's gonna relieve any pressure that does build up instead very safely and easily. So number one, it's going to make that connection process easier because there's thermal expansion changes that happen when th your equipment is sitting out in the sun. And Dale has some really good graphs. We're gonna see if we can post those or at least links to his website to where you can see it. He's done the testing and you can see the huge spikes and changes in hydraulic pressure that happen inside the system. And so your cylinders, your rods, your hoses, your fittings, everything that is exposed to those pressures over time, that's weakening those components and degrading them a lot more prematurely than they need to be. And so this is the kind of product that you can use to prevent that premature wear, that damage from occurring, as well as make it easier to rehook or reattach, reconnect to your tractor. So again, this is the biggest size, and, and this one's for really big attachments. Most of you guys are gonna be living in the world with these uh, smaller couple units here, and you may have noticed this little hanger or hook that's on there as well, and that's intentional. That's so that when you have it connected to your hose, you can just hang it on a grapple arm or just some piece of steel so it's kind of out of the dirt, off the ground a little bit too, which is nice. They do have a lot of information on their website all about these, explaining um, the, the do's, the don'ts, the proper procedure, how to set it up, that kind of thing. It's not overly complicated. Oh, and one of the cool things, it says on here, I know it said on the flyer too, yeah, it's made in the USA, which is always nice to see. Uh, it is patent pending as well, but this is a product, you're gonna go right to their website. If you are interested, check them out. You use code GWT, you're gonna save 5% off of your order. You buy it from them, they ship it right to you. All right, next up, we're gonna tackle these. These are from the same yeah, these are from the same company, PTO Link, all right? And they've got a couple of new products, so I'm guessing that's what these are. Get these opened up for you here, take a look. Now these guys are one of the most professional companies that I know. They take their business very seriously. Okay, I'll tell you about that here in just a second. Man, they got them packed in there, look at that. They just pack everything so well. This is our HD. Compact, okay. Standard, okay. Another HD. Okay, all right. Hats, nice. mind if I do, I always like a new hat. Yeah, how's that? Looks good. Nice. All right, cool. Well, first of all, I got a little swag, which is always nice. Got a new hat, got a couple keychains. Look at that. It's a little PTO link keychain. That's pretty slick. Okay, so what we have going on though, we're gonna have a look here at the full lineup 
offered by these guys, all right? And so they have more than just the original. Where's my knife? Here it is. And so this is gonna be the original, but they're always making product improvements. And I'm gonna show you. Well, let's get these all out of the box. We'll show you what we're talking about. All right, cool, we have them all unboxed, and as you can tell, they're very well packaged. They came in looking absolutely perfect. They're all gonna have these little tags on here, and what it says is it's gonna extend uh, at about five inches of length to the overall drive line, so your PTO shaft, and so you may need to cut down approximately five inches of your PTO shaft to use this, but if you don't have a quick hitch, um, then what you can do is get yourself a quick hitch because the quick hitch is going to um, be the part that connects to your three-point hitch, and that's gonna be about four and a half inches deep front to back. And so if you add one of those on and one of these, it's essentially gonna even out the overall length of the PTO shaft and it makes it completely quick connect at that point. You have the quick connect for the three point hitch, you have the quick connect for the PTO, and you're good to go. Okay, so you're looking at their full lineup. And if you guys uh, pay attention to the channel at all, this is the original tractor PTO link. This is just the, the one where they kind of made their claim to fame. And so if you have no clue what I'm talking about, a system like this is going to take a lot of the pain out of the process of connecting your PTO to the back of your tractor. It's in a very tough, awkward location, uh, often hidden by a shroud and the narrow pinch point where your PTO or where your three-point arms come together. And so this pushes that connection point out into a more accessible location and just generally makes it easier to do. And so I mentioned it before, but these guys are genuinely interested in improving their product all the time. And one of the limitations that the original had was that um, there were shorter PTO splines or shafts coming out of the back of some tractors especially like the Kubota BX um, and some of the there's a couple John Deere models a couple random other models Coyote and whatnot uh, that don't have a really long spline shaft that's coming out of the back of their tractor and so the original wouldn't work with that and so they came out with a compact version which will work with anything and in fact it's going to be a little bit cheaper so if you have a 1025R you can get the original or the compact version but you get this you can see how it's just it's shorter overall right I think that's a pretty good visual there. You can see it's just smaller, a little bit thinner uh, steel plate on the back, and it's rated for a little bit lower horsepower. You can get all the details right on their website, uh, but that's the intent. They, they cut down some size, cut down some material, made it compatible with a lot of the small subcompacts or small compacts as well. So you save some money, still get a great product. Now on the flip side, you're gonna see their big, beefy, heavy duty version, okay? And so this, gosh, it's well over, maybe it doesn't even have a maximum, I can't remember, but it is well over 100 horsepower that this will work on, so, you know, throw, throw your best at it, okay? Oh, here we go, it's rated to 130 horsepower, and this is essentially, anybody who's watching my channel is gonna be able to use one of these, but if you have, um, say like a batwing mower, they specifically call that out, or if you're really rough on your equipment and you wanna go heavy duty, this is the option that you wanna look into. Again, you can use this on a smaller tractor. It doesn't have to be a 100 horsepower tractor. It could be a like a John Deere 4 Series, for example, it could be a good fit for it. But what I want you to take a look at, and we'll see if we can get these set side by side by side, is the fact that they're gonna keep getting bigger and beefier. And there's one huge product improvement that these guys made, which is gonna be a game changer and really strengthen or uh, improve, increase the robustness of the product overall. And so that's gonna be, you can see on all these models now, there are no welds between the stem and the plate down here. This is completely machined out of a hunk of steel, okay? And that is a huge difference. These used to be all all welded right around here and if they ever did have a failure which was really rare this would be the location that it was at and so they went to r d they did all the stress testing all the the engineering that needed to be done and they made this product improvement here which again these guys are down in Texas. They, they know what they're doing. This is USA made. Um, they're very high quality products. One quick note though, I do wanna make sure I point out, this one is still in prototype. Uh, they're transitioning over once they run out of their stock on the original style, which again is still a very high quality style. They're gonna be moving over to uh, the fully machined version. But in the meantime, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and get that um, compact version or if you wanna get the heavy duty version in the fully machined, then they're available now. Okay, so this is gonna be that compact version again. So if you are a Kubota BX owner, I think that's the only uh, folks that this applies to, you're gonna to need to get this plate as well. And it's something to do with a very specific geometry and angles and everything else with your three-point arms where they attach to the base. And you probably have a plate like this on there for you guys that own them that um, I believe it's this dimension, this length where it sticks out is just a hair too long and it interferes uh, with the PTO 
length itself. And so you could either shave your own down, if you could just take off, I believe, a quarter inch. It's really minimal, not much. Or you can buy this plate down there and just swap it out with the one that you have, and you'll be set up with the PTO link. Now, again, these guys are another Made in America product. They are part of the discount club. So you use code GWT, you go right to their website, place your order, just enter the code, they're gonna ship it to you. And I just thought about this too, I wanted to make sure I mentioned it, but uh, even these connection points where the two sides are gonna mate together, like this, they're gonna mate together, the back side used to have a little lip on there that would make it just a little bit more of a challenge or have to wiggle a little bit more to separate the two pieces. And when they did the redesign, and again, continuous improvement, it's a great thing. Uh, they actually took that little lip off the back just to make that process easier. But I'm telling you, these guys really know what they're doing. So this is a side that's gonna stay right on your tractor. Just slide it onto the back of your PTO shaft. You can leave it there all the time if you want. This is the end that goes into your attachment. So the end of the PTO shaft, if you have multiple attachments, you can get two, three, four of these if you want to, or you can just bounce this one around from attachment to attachment. And then when it's time to do the work, you're just gonna mate them together, all right? You push it together that way, give a little twist like that. And then you are gonna have a retainer pin here that just pick the hole that you want, kind of shove it in there and, and then turn it just a little bit, boom. There you go. All right. Getting down there next on the list. I got this from uh, our buddies over at 511. You guys may have seen I have a Kubota M4D tractor now. And you know I want to get that set up. Let's see what it looks like. Sweet. And as you probably guessed, these are another Discount Club member. These guys make custom grill guard inserts for not all, but most of the John Deere's and Kubota's of the world out there now. Probably start expanding to some other manufacturers here before too long. But these are, um, again, another dual purpose item. Gonna look good, which I like and also protect your tractor too. And so we've done some videos on these before, but um, these are all laser cut. He does a really, it's a multi-step process to powder coat them. You can get them orange uh, or black. This is a textured black. It's really, really cool. And they have the tabs built in. You know, he goes out of his way to, to either go find tractors that have the grill guards so he can measure them and do fit checks, or he's bought grill guards as well just to, so he can have everything exactly the right fit. You just gotta typically drill uh, four holes in the side of your existing grill guard, and you can insert this right in there. Gonna provide a lot of additional protection, cutouts for your headlights. Um, we actually, we done it ours, you know, so <laughs> it proved it's worth it protected the, the radiator behind there from, you know, a big stick or a log or something else going through. It's one of those things you want to get it ahead of time. You don't, you might not see its value if you're looking for protection until it's too late. And then what's the likelihood of it happening again, right? So you want to get this ahead of time, or if you just want to dress up your tractor, make it look a little bit more unique, check out 511, link down below. Again, save 5% with code GWT. So this is not a product you buy from us. It's a vendor that we work with. They're actually based in Michigan. He's a small business owner, just like myself, you know, working the day job, building up his dream job. And this is an amazing uh, product that he's come out with. So check him out, 511, link down below, made in America, save 5% with code GWT. All right, well, we are on to the giveaway. <laughs> and that's gonna be this last guy right here, which maybe some of you know what it is, maybe some of you don't but it is a rhino hide canopy. And uh, Don over there came out with a, an improved version for the folks that have like a 1025R, which is a really popular subcompact tractor. And they've got something goofy, which is like a forward leaning ROPS, you know, the rollover protection system that's normally black or gray on tractors and just a big roll bar. Well, there's on the 1025 and the 1023 leans forward. Real goofy, but the traditional brackets um, then mean that the, the, the canopy is gonna slant at a pretty steep pitch down. And so he came out with a, a different bracket on there to be able to make it more practical and keep it level and look more normal for you 1025 owners. Everything's well labeled. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, and so these are the brackets that are kind of at a different angle. Not like a 90 degree, but you can see how there's just a, a, I don't know, 45 or somewhere right around there approximately to help uh, when you have them mounted instead of, well, look at this. This is going to be the, about the angle of the ROPS bar right there, that forward leaning ROPS. And so when you have it mounted right there, he's got it adjusted, the brake, so that this is perfectly level when you want to have your canopy on. Previously, with the traditional 90 degree angle bracket or close to it, your canopy would have been sloped way down like this. And, um, a little goofy, a little impractical, maybe in the way at times as well. And so the canopy itself is the same old real deal. And we did a test last winter. It's my bad. Last winter we did a test in the frigid cold, dropping all sorts of stuff, running over this thing with a tractor. Don's done some tests, hammering it. Um, shooting it with a shotgun, just anything and everything. It's a rhino hide tough, okay? It, it flexes, it's kind of like that bed liner material, but a lot of the other canopies out there are fiberglass or metal. They're gonna bend, they're gonna break. Uh, they're very heavy and awkward. This is, you can pick it up with one hand, okay? So the point is, it's got a lot of other properties that are lacking from most of the other canopies that are on the market. Um, this is easy to take on and off by yourself if you wanna trailer your tractor down the road, if you need to take it off to get inside a garage, if you don't wanna use it in the winter time, whatever it is, it's a one person job to do. So in my opinion, this really is the best canopy on the market, it's the best value. It's got great features, great quality, a great price point. It just checks all those boxes. It has all those key ingredients there that I really like in the products that I represent. Okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, similar to what we did for our 100,000 subscriber uh, fun giveaway, deal we're gonna do the same thing with this so if you want to be entered have a chance to win a rhino hide canopy it doesn't have to be for a 1025 R. It can be for essentially any compact tractor that's out there regardless of brand all you got to do is leave a comment down below maybe let us know what you thought about the video let us know what you think about the product say Merry Christmas Happy New Year it doesn't matter to us but enter a comment we're gonna do a drawing at 12 noon Eastern time on let's see December 29th I think is a date 2021 so if you wait too long you're not gonna be entered and have a chance but we will post the winner we'll do a random drawing like we've done before post the winner on our YouTube community tab We'll reach out, have you verify who it is to make sure that your YouTube account matches the user and so on, and then we'll get one of these packed up and ship it out to you. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it for us today. I do hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year if we don't get a chance to talk. But if you did enjoy today's video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to see more. You never know when we're gonna do a random giveaway. And if you want something for your tractor, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. You can ship it right to your house. I also want to make sure I thank all the companies that featured their products in this video. They are great companies. A lot of these are small businesses, USA made products as well. So make sure you show them your love. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to follow along and interact with the videos. I really appreciate it. So until next time, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Yeah.